डू यू नो इफ एडिंग सैलड टू अ दाल रोटी सब्जी मील हेल्प इन रिड्यूसिंग द ग्लूकोज पाइक लेट्स फाइंड आउट टूडे आई एम हैविंग टू हंड्रेड ग्राम अरड की दाल विद वन टी स्पून घी फोर वीट चपाती विद घी अबाउट वन ट्वेंटी फाइव ग्राम वन फिफ्टी ग्राम भिंडी वन फिफ्टी ग्राम प्लेन दही एंड हंड्रेड ग्राम ऑफ सैलड विद ओनली सॉल्ट ऑन इट नो लेमन जूस बिकॉज दैट आई लैड इन टूमोरोज वीडियो ऑल ऑफ दिस शुड बी अराउंड नाइन फिफ्टी कैलरीज लेट सी दिस सैलड हेल्प इन फर्दर ब्रिंगिंग डाउन द स्पाइक Also, I am having the salad along with the meal, like we normally do. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. Twenty-seven mg increase. That's a little disappointing because this is similar to when I had the exact same meal but without the salad because that had increased my blood sugar levels by twenty-eight mg. I'm not counting the slight reduction because one two point difference can happen because of any random reason. In the past, whenever I've added salad to a meal, it has led to a noticeable reduction in the glucose spike. Like when I had added salad to a dal, chawal, and aloo gobi meal, it had led to a reduction in the glucose spike from thirty-six mg to twenty-eight mg. That's about a twenty percent reduction. I think in this case, what happened is that the spike was already reduced from thirty-eight to twenty-eight because of ghee and dahi. Plus, this salad did not have any lemon juice in it. Only salt because I was saving lemon juice for the next video. Having said all that, it's not like adding a salad had no impact because if you compare it to the graph of the exact same meal but without the salad, you'll notice that after the first peak, the subsequent peaks were smaller, which is a good thing. All hopes are now on lemon juice and a post meal walk to get us closer to our goal of 19 mg. Let's see what happens.